What's up guys, Shiny Interzac here back with another TCG pack opening video and finally my X and Y flash fire booster box has arrived. I'm very excited to open this up. This is going to be my first of two flash fire booster boxes and the ratios of these boxes in particular have been pretty funky. I have seen anywhere from just three ultra rares, all three being regular EXs including Megas. Or I've also seen seven ultra rares, including a secret rare and multiple full arts, you know, full art trainers and full art EXs alike. So this box could be anywhere in between that. Uh, I have had worse boxes than that. Even I did open a Dragon's Exalted booster box where I got two ultra rares, a full art EX and a normal EX in 36 packs, which is pretty bad. But I'm hoping this box isn't going to be anywhere like it. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up very gently so I don't mess it up. There we go. Let's rip this baby open. As always, I will go open these packs in three parts, so 12 packs per part. Let's move this down a bit. And I guess I'll start with the right side of the box as I normally do. Let's put this uh, top up, and then we'll put this back there, there's the left side, and the right side. Alright, so let's put a DS down, move the camera down a little bit more, and we'll start opening this box, and we'll start with a uh, Mega Charizard X-Pack. That one opened really easily for some reason. Um, I do have a list open of all the cards that I need from this set still, and also I did get this from Collector's Cash, as I usually do, so I guess there's their information. They just send me a little uh, business card with the order. And let's see what we start out with. So we have a Shinx, Stunky, Litleo, Geodude, Feebas, Trick Shovel, Fletchender, and Sacred Ash. Not catch him. Another Ash. My Reverse is a binacle, which I definitely have, that's just a common. And my rare is, oh, yes, what a great way to start this off. A uh, very first pack, and I have a Charizard EX, the more playable one. This one does not get a forward version, so this is the best version of it you can get. Very excited to pull something so awesome right off the bat. I'm using my Froakie sleeves that I got from Pokey Collection. I'll have that video up sometime, probably in between this box and the second box. They sent me some Froakie sleeves and a Froakie deck box, so thank you to them, but thank you to this box for giving me an awesome Charizard EX in the first pack. I'm hoping I didn't just get an Ultra Rare and then the rest of the box I'm getting at nothing. Hopefully that's an indication of good things. So, second pack here, we have a Skrelp, Buizel, Fletchling, Ponyta, Esper, Pokemon Fan Club, Celio, and Magnetic Storm. My reverse is a Butterfree, which I already have. That is a rare reverse, though. I actually haven't pulled this in regular rare form. I've pulled like two or three of those uh, reverse, though. And my rare is a Skuntank regular rare. Oh, make a Kangaskhan pack now. Very excited to open all these up. Also very excited to redeem these codes on the online game and try to get some games with some new decks for you guys and some old decks, just adding the uh, the new trainers and stuff in. Pidgey, Litleo, Sneasel, Seedot, Flabebe, Celio, Lysander, and Roserade, or uh, however you want to pronounce that, Lysandre. I, I say Lysander. My reverse is a Helioptile, which I do already have. That's just a common. And my rare is a Dragalge regular rare. That's a little uh, cut to the top left hand side. There's more yellow here than there is on these two sides, but uh, not seriously miscut or anything. So let's see here, another pack, another day, another pack. We have Sveal, Spritzy, Binacle, Stunky, Scraggy, Fletchender, Luxio, and Pidgeotto. My reverse 
is a Furret, which is a rare. Uh, do not need that one, though. And my rare is a Dredigan Hollow. Very nice. So, I guess I'll go ahead and sleeve the Hollows, too. Uh, Dredigan, this is a Hollow I ha I've pulled a lot of, but I'm glad I pulled a lot of this one instead of another Hollow, because it's pretty playable. I've talked about this before, but that Revenge Attack does 20 plus 70 if your Pokemon... Uh, your active Pokemon was knocked out by your opponent in the previous turn. So it can do a quick 90 damage, and because it's Dragon type, it can one-hit a lot of other Dragon types in that way, and it's weak to Fairy, unlike a lot of other Dragon types in the set, which are weak to Dragon. Seedot, Pidgey, Stunky, Duskull, Flabebe, Avalug, Sneasel, and Metapod. My reverse is a Sandile, which is just a common. Do not need that one. I haven't pulled one that I need yet, in fact. Am I rare? Oh, nice! Very cool! Toxicroak EX. I have not pulled this one yet, so I definitely needed that for my set. And it looks so cool. Oh, uh, we have Triple Poison as the first attack, and that says uh, your opponent's active Pokémon is poisoned. You put three damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon. With Verbank, you put five damage counters uh, on the poisoned Pokemon instead of just one. So that's pretty cool. And then Smash Uppercut, 80, and it's not affected by resistance. So already two Ultra Rares, two normal EXs, but Ultra Rares nonetheless. And they're actually pretty good Ultra Rares. Uh, one of them I didn't have, and one of them is pretty playable. So next pack here... We have Pineco, Sentret, Feebas, Bergmite, Roselia, Pokemon Center Lady, Love Disc, and Trick Shovel. My reverse, oops, I went for another pack there instead, is a Meow Stick, and that is a rare. That's one that I did not have, so the first one of the box that I needed for my set, put that in a different pile. And my rare is a Fortress Regular Rare, with Thorn Tempest as the ability. If you're curious, Thorn Tempest says when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may uh, put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So not the greatest, but kind of interesting. Alright, Sneasel, Flabebe, Fletchling, Shinx, Sandile, Furfru, Sligu, and Fiery Torch. I think... Yep, every single card in the commons and uncommons either started with S or F, so that's kind of interesting. Even Fiery Torch. My reverse is a C dot, which also starts with S. Uh, let's see, I did not need that one. I do need Shift Tree. And my rare is a Meowstic Regular Rare. Next up here, we have a Mega Charizard X pack. Do 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 do. Alrighty, Skrelp, Weasel, Fletchling, Ponyta, Esper, Miltank, Torkoal, and Palpad. My reverse is a Stunky, which I do have that already. That is a common, I believe. And my rare is a Weavile Regular Rare. Not as good as the other Weavile that some people were actually using in decks and stuff, but nice to see Weavile come back, I suppose. Alrighty, Gumi, Caterpie, Geodude, Helioptile, Baneri, Protection Cube, Palpad, and Ultra Ball. Very nice uh, pack for trainers there. My reverse is a Rose Raid. I uh, do not need that one, but that is an uncommon. And my rare is a Quillfish Regular Rare. So how many packs do we have left here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have three left. I'll go ahead and take those out of the box. There we go, three packs left. Let's start with this Mega Kangaskhan one. Can't say I'm too disappointed with the booster box at all so far. Two regular EXs. Pretty happy. Steel, Spritzy, Binacle, Stunky, Scraggy, Protection Cube, Floet, and Startling Megaphone. My reverse is a Litleo. This is the better one, so I will be sleeving it up because I'm keeping those reverse Lit Leos that have 70 HP and all the Pyroars. These are all of my extras so far of those respective cards. I have three extra Lit Leo Reverse now and two extra Pyroar. 
Still need a Pyro Reverse, though. And my rare is a Duskmore Hollow. This is, I think, the last regular Hollow I needed for my set. Yes, it is. So Duskmoir, very nice looking card. Uh, might be playable in the future, not right now. Shadow Void, as often as you like during your turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. And then Pain Pellets put damage on one of your opponent's Pokemon equal to the number of damage counters on this one. So, worth sleeving up, but uh, probably not worth playing right now, unless somebody comes up with a concept I haven't thought of yet. Which, uh, don't get me wrong, that's entirely possible. Very, very, very possible. I by no means am the master of the competitive side of the game. We have Pineco, Sentret, Feebas, Bergamite, Roselia, Miltank, Sacred Ash, and Floet. My reverse is a Flabebe, and this is just a common. I believe I have that already. Uh, yes, I need the Floet Rare Reverse and the Florges Reverse. And my rare is a Floet. This is the one I need in reverse. Unfortunately, it came in rare form. So, last pack of this part is a Mega Charizard X pack. Let's hope for something nice to end it off. End this part off, anyway. And we have Gumi, Caterpie, Geodude, oops, Helioptile, Baneri, Avalug, Magnetic Storm, and Sneasel. My reverse is a Love Disc, and I did not need that one. I still have only pulled one reverse that I needed for my set. That's an uncommon, by the way. And my last rare is a Wall Rain. Pretty cool. I uh, don't need it for my set or anything, but still a nice looking card. And we got some great pulls in the first part. We got two Hollows, two Ultra Rares, we got a Dusk Noir, a Dreadigan, a Toxic Rokey X, and a Charizard X with Combustion Blast. So that is going to do it for part one of my first Flashfire Booster Box. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment below. And until next time, I will see you guys later.